uh, formation of rainbow. You can see the diagram here. Can you see the diagram? Can you see the diagram? Can you see the diagram or not? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Okay, now look here. So this is actually uh, a drop of water. Okay, this is water actually. A rainfall. And uh, so when light from the sun travels, so from here we have refraction of light. So because of refraction, you can see we have rainbow color over here because different colors have different wavelength and frequency. That is why it refracts at different angle. And when the light reaches the other side of the water droplet, then that is where the total internal reflection occurs. Because here, incident angle, incident angle is greater than critical angle. This uh, revise what we have learned last week. That is why we can see it is reflected. So we have total internal reflection, and now here we have another refraction. Okay, another refraction here, and this is our eye, so we can see color of the rainbow. Okay. Now, uh, another situation is mirage. Mirage. Okay, why we see something like cloud during a hot day, especially on the road. Okay, maybe people in the past they could see something like water. Okay, in the desert, when they try to go there, there is no water. Actually, what they see is the cloud. Okay. The reflection of the cloud. So we're going to look at the uh, application of total internal reflection. You can see here, actually, this is the ground. Okay, this part is the ground. Okay, and then uh, light from the clouds. Okay, light from here, from the cloud travels towards the earth or toward the ground. You can see here we have refraction. Okay, refraction because light travel from uh, denser to less dense. You can see here near the ground it is hot. Near the ground it is hot. That's why the air is less dense. But far from uh, the ground it is cold air. So it is denser. So light travel from denser to less than it refract. Okay, refract away from normal line. Let's say this is the normal line. You can see it refracts away. That's why you can see the curve. Okay, now the normal line here, it refracts away from normal line. But when it reaches this point, okay, when it reaches this point, it is okay. Th this is the normal line. Now in this case, the light is greater than critical angle. This is the critical angle. So you can see the light here is greater than critical angle. Okay, the light is greater than critical angle. That is why we have total internal reflection here. Total internal reflection. Okay, now light to bend upward. In this case, it will Refract again, but this time it refracts towards normal line. Okay, let's say this is the normal line. It refracts towards normal line, and finally it reaches our eye. 
So we can see the cloud over here. Okay, the cloud look looks like water from afar. Did you ever see it in your life? Did you ever see it in your life? Yes, sir. Okay, so that is Mirage. Okay. You can read yourself later the textbook. Okay, another uh, application of total internal reflection is periscope. Okay, we have periscope here. Okay, this is periscope. This periscope uses prism. Okay, this is not a uh, mirror. You can see the triangle shape there. Actually, it is a prism. Okay, you can see light. Okay, this is the object. Okay, light travels. Okay, you can see light travel. Here. Okay, light travel, and then we have total internal reflection. So we have total internal reflection here. And light from here also travel. And then we have another total internal reflection here. So we have light travels downward. And we have another total internal reflection and another total internal reflection here. So finally, our eye can see the image of the object. Okay, that is another application of total internal reflection. Okay, this is fiber optic. I think we discussed it before, right? Okay, so we have uh, this is in a core, okay, in a core, and we have cladding. Okay, you can see we have in a core here, in a core, and we have cladding here. Cladding has higher density. Cladding uh, has a lower density than in a core. So inner core has higher density. You can see here, inner core has higher refractive index. A refractive index depends on density also. So, so when light travels, this is just like uh, another situation where we have a prism there. And um, we have a critical angle and we have we have normal line and this is critical angle. When light travel when, uh, more than critical angle, and then it will be reflected. This is total internal reflection. And please remember that uh, this prism has higher density than air. Okay, the density of air is lower. That's why we have total internal reflection. Uh, it is actually the same case here. This uh, uh, in a core has higher density than cladding. Okay, coating or cladding. The, co the coating has lower refractive index. To make sure this can happen, we need to have this situation. Understand so far? So we have total internal reflection inside uh, the core. There is no loss of information because all light are reflected. Please uh, turn off your microphone. Okay, so that is what we have learned last week actually. Yeah? Yes, that is only the application.